Since the dawn of man, scientists have longed to travel through time. In the late 1960s, a crack team of geniuses combined their talents to attempt to break the time barrier. In the Florida Keys, Dr. Woodstock P. Havens was given the task of building a special space shuttle. Yeah, but I decided to make a submarine instead, man. So come on and join me as we float through time. My name is Dr. Woodstock P. Havens. Hey, but you can call me Woodstock. Hey, man, what year is this? What? 2015. 2015? Dudes, that is awesome. You see, I built this time travel submarine back in 1969 out of some scrap metal that I found in the junkyard, and now I'm... Back to the future. <laughs> I call it the love sub on account of I'm going to travel through time spreading the love of Jesus. <laughs> Only I wonder why God brought me here to the future. Maybe he had a purpose or a reason for me. Dudes, we're getting a visitor. Time travel alert. I think he's going to come up on this screen. In three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, hello! <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's something I've never seen on my time screen before. It looks like an underwater Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, no, me. <laughs> uh, Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, brother. Welcome aboard the Love Sub. Is that where you are? Man, I, I can't believe it. My time viewing screen brought me all the way over here. <laughs> Far out, man. You invented a time screen? Uh, yes, it helps me see the past and the future, but I don't know how to get there. Well, I invented this time too, man, and it takes me from the past to the future, only I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe yeah. God brought us together. Or... Maybe God brought us together. Wow! <laughs> That's very insightful. Oh, I wish I thought of that. Groovy baby. <laughs> oh, no, I, I'm not a baby. I'm a, a scientist. Oh. My name is Dr. Somonex. <laughs> well, well, I'm Dr. Woodstock P. Havens, man. I'm like an inventor and a prophet in modern times. <laughs> a, a prophet? You yeah. mean like Elijah? Oh, no, like Elijah and Elisha and Moses, they were the first prophets, and God gave them the power to do miracles. But other prophets that came after sent a message or a warning to God's people. Yeah, it's kind of what prophets do. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. Prophets are people who hear from God and then pass that message on to others. <laughs> that yeah. is so amazing. Well, dude fell asleep. <laughs> Hey, mister, did you fall asleep? Oh, oh, air raid! Air raid! Air raid! Air raid! Air raid! Air That's just the warning lights. Uh, warning lights? What do they do? They warn people, man. Yeah, let me show you, man. I'll get out the power source. I think it's in here. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong portal. <laughs> Must be this side. 
Power. Hey, doctor, so, whoa, that dude is really sleepy. Uh, that, whoa, oh, man, I think we lost the signal. Well, that's okay, man. Uh, we'll, we'll just let Doc McStuffins take his nap, and I'll just share this uh, Bible story with you dudes. Oh, man, this is really cool. This is from the book of Joel. Yeah, he was one of those prophets. And God gave Joel this warning to the people of Israel. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm in my holy hill. Let all who live in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. <laughs> hey, check it out. God's warning showed up on Dr. Salmonex's time screen. And you know, the day of the Lord, that's what prophets called the day when God will come to judge the world. See, God said, all who live in the land will tremble. It sounds like they're going to be in big trouble. That's why they're trembling, man. Yeah, because they had turned away from God, and they were not obeying his rules. But there is good news. God loved his people so much that he sent the prophet Joel to them, and he gave them this choice. Whoa, I think that's the choice, lights and sounds, man. Yeah, and there is this choice right here. Oh, it showed up on the time screen again. Excellent. It says, rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate and slow to anger and abounding in love. And he relents from sending calamity. Well, that's an easy choice, man. The people did the right thing, and they totally returned to the Lord, and God kept his promise. <laughs> Whoa, there's the promise lights. You know what that means? We got to search for the promise. Get out your periscopes and search high and low. We got to try and find the promise. Sometimes it's deep under the water. Yeah, you never know. Oh, jellyfish. No, that's not it. Well, maybe on this side. Oh, no, no, sharks. Watch out. Oh, there's... Whoa. Check it out. God sent three promises. He said, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. I will pour out my spirit on all people, and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Oh, that is excellent. See, all three of these promises are from the Lord. And all we have to do is listen to his warnings from the prophets and make the right choices to turn our hearts toward him. Yeah, you know, this is fun, learning all about these prophet dudes. You know what? Next time you kids come back, we'll do it again. We'll discover more about prophets. But until then, remember, no matter where you are in time, God is good all the time. Peace.